imagine that um, you're sitting in your class one day and you've been maybe with that class since September and it's now nearly the summer. So you've been with the class for quite a while, um, but not for years. And then at the end of the school day, the teacher says, right, everybody, I have been with you for getting on for a whole school year and you've been watching me teach and you've seen what it's like to um, to be a teacher because you've been seeing me and you've been walking alongside me and learning the things that I've been telling you. And so now what I want you to do is to go out yourselves and be teachers. I want you to go out, you can go with somebody else, take, find a pair, find a, find a partner, and go out and teach people what I've been teaching you. Teach them the lessons that I've been teaching you, teach them the things I've been teaching you about the way that we engage with each other, the way that we act towards each other, the way that we ought to act towards our world. And let's get back together in maybe two months' time and see how it went. I wonder what you'd feel like. I should think you'd think, but I'm, I'm only eight, or I'm only 10 or 12 or six. I'm not, I'm not experienced enough to be a teacher. I know I've been with you for a while, but I can't do this myself. How am I meant to do this? You're the teacher, not me. I'm the learner. Well, do you know what? In the passage that we read today, that's exactly what Jesus did. He spent some time with the disciples, quite a lot of time, going around the different towns and the different villages, healing people, talking to people about God, showing them how to pray. And then he turned to his disciples and said, now it's your turn. You've seen me. You've done this with me. And now it's your turn to go and do it. Imagine how they felt. And yet they went out. They went out in pairs and they told people about God. And do you know what? When they came back, they were astounded at what God had done through them. Because, and do you know what? This is the secret. They didn't go out by themselves. They went out with the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, don't be worried about what you're going to say. The Holy Spirit will tell you what to say. And he did. And when they came back, they were full of the exciting stories of all that had happened to them. And you know what? It's the same with us today. Jesus still says to us, go out. I've taught you. You've been with me. You may be scared, but I want you to go out. And I want you to talk to your friends and to your relations and to your schoolmates about me. And to show them what it's like to live following me. And do you know what? You're not doing it by yourself. You're doing it with the Holy Spirit inside. And that makes all the difference. So maybe tomorrow, as you get up, just think, Jesus has sent me into whatever I'm doing today. And I'm meant to live my life for him and to tell people about him and to show them what it means by the way I live to follow him. And may God be with you, which he will be. And it'd be great to hear some of the stories that come back. OK, everybody, we're now going to do an illustration of the disciples going out to do the work that Jesus gave them to do. Going out in pairs with each other and really importantly, not going out by themselves as pairs, but going out powered by the Holy Spirit. Now, do you remember a couple of weeks ago we learned about the Holy Spirit and we learned that he, was a, he came down a bit like fire and also a bit like wind. So we are going to use a straw to help us be the Holy Spirit. And we're also going to need some paint. I've got various types of paint here. I've loosened them a little bit with water to make them a bit more wet than perhaps they would otherwise be. And you're going to need a piece of paper. So paper, paint and a straw. And do you know what? I've decided to wear an apron as well because I was wearing a white top. Okay, let's do this. So um, let's say they all started here. Okay, so Jesus sent out one pair of disciples there and they went 
over in this direction. Powered by the Holy Spirit. Off they went. Another set of disciples went off in this direction. Maybe they shared some villages. They didn't get quite so far, did they? Maybe they stopped and had some really good conversations with some people, so they didn't get quite as far as the first lot. And this lot went off here. Oh! I think I'm going to have to turn this whole bit of Judea around. There we go. And let's see where these people went. And so on and so forth. I don't know how many, actually I do know how many, I think it was 72 disciples. I don't even have 72 colors. But this is a good representation. You can keep going as long as you want. And maybe you can have a go and just see how far you can get and how wonderful a colour you can get. And that can look like the good news of Jesus spreading out as the disciples took it. Have a go for yourselves. It's quite fun. It does help maybe if you're a flautist and you're very good at blowing. But it is quite fun anyway. So have fun. This is the disciples spreading the good news powered by the Holy Spirit.